right so in this video we are going to see about the repairing of technocare monitor and uh, customer told me that uh, power supply is an issue uh, he already tried to change the fuses and uh, not worked so let's see what's inside and uh, how to uh, repair the power supply board uh, so i'm pravin rajagopal this is shivai medical so first thing first let's remove ac cable and the connector cables be careful when you're doing this uh and this one and right here this one. so this is a power supply board as you can see there's two fuses and these are the power protectors this is a dc and this one is varistor uh, let's unscrew this screws and uh, remove the board from the uh, from the machine okay firstly i'm going to inspect the board visually uh, and i couldn't find anything obvious so let's flip the board and see this sometimes broken components and shorted components makes this issue so let's check uh, the fuses first and then varistor and ntc so if everything is good here uh there is no short uh if something happened here like uh, if the fuses are blown or uh, varistor were broken something like that then you can assume that the there is a short circuit in the board so let's begin with this fuses and see put a multimeter into continuity mode and this is a fuses so one is fine and another one is fine so let's check varistor varistor is showing 1228 but varistor uh, will not show anything will not show anything and ntc is good so let's check bridge rectifier so this is a bridge so this is ac and this one is ac okay no short and bridge rectifier yes, no shorts diodes fine up to coupler fine okay resistor this resistor is a zero ah yeah it is okay and the value of zero so it's good since uh, this fuses are good we can assume that board is no uh, uh, not having any short in anywhere so uh, we can go with the, uh, this mosfet and uh, this mosfet here the ic here so let's check one by one so that we can have a better, better picture of a uh, circuit is good so now 
now I'm going to use my thermal cam uh, for any heating spots are there uh, because we don't find any short circuit in the PCB so I'm suspecting that this MOSFET maybe is an issue uh, it's switched on switched on now we can wait for the heating spot okay okay as you can see there's a heating spot right in the MOSFET so this MOSFET is having a heating spot so let's switch off and then Okay, we will remove this MOSFET anyway and see whether the problem is solved. Uh, the MOSFET is this one. Now we remove uh, this IC. Now we will check with multimeter. Put your multimeter into the continuity mode and let's see gate and source shorted so this is a gate and this is a source shorted and how about the drain drain we don't have short so it's having a short uh, in gate and source so let's change this mosfet and see whether it will work or not so hope it will work and let's change it uh, now I got the MOSFET I didn't get that uh, exact value but I have the equivalent of uh, that MOSFET so it is 11 ampere and 650 volt so now let's replace the component and then see whether it will work or not ok now change the MOSFET and let's connect the power cable into it and see whether the problem is fixed i hope you enjoyed this video like and subscribe for more videos and we'll do something else in the next video see you soon